I would like to welcome you to Marquette. The year is 843 PD, or post-divergence. A landmass once marred by a vengeful god during the Calamity, the staggeringly twisted mountain ranges created in its wake divided the regions that have now developed into a varied and beautiful continent. The epicenter of this ancient destruction created the Rumadam Desert, a vast expanse of sand dunes and rocky landmarks that encompasses nearly a third of Marquette. Dotted with oasis townships surrounding the central city of Ankarel, known as the Jewel of Hope, here the long-living ruler Jamansa Ord and their Hands of Ord keep the peace and prosperity of their people protected. Beyond the Rumadam Desert and its sister desert, the Penegrip Sands, to the south, lies the gloomed jungles of Aishanador, a shaded territory of treacherous wilderness and careful guard by the historically orcish erudite society of Eos. Here many skilled dreamers seek the Marquesian peak of collegiate study and social influence within the political powerhouse of its ruling council, the court of the Lambent Path. To the southwest, a towering range of mountain spires climb into the clouds known as the Taland Highlands, where massive shelves and plateaus scattered among the peaks are home to elevated valleys abundant with agriculture and rural life, before reaching to the apex, where the military might of the region is held by the Stratos throne. Near the center of this continent, the rugged badlands known as the Hellcatch Valley acts as the roadway nexus between the cage-like mountain ranges of Marquette, where numerous independent villages and cities survive among the harsh, dusty canyons and compete for dominance. The history of Marquette is filled with vibrant culture, incredible discoveries, political intrigue, and inter-region warfare that recently culminated two decades back in a years-long conflict known as the Apex War between the Stratos Throne and the Court of the Lambent Path that left both sides exhausted, expended, and without victory. This truce has continued to this day as both factions continue the slow work to rebuild their societies to their former glory. Our story, however, begins to the northwest of the Hellcatch Valley, within the natural boundaries of the Serpent Wine Peaks, where the lush jungle valley of the Odiran Wilds thrums with life and mystery. Here among the vines and mists that choke the uncarved paths of the rainforest, howling beasts in long dormant shadows are rumored to hide among the lost relics of ancient days. Here, the dense jungle canopy is home to numerous towns along the honored trails, where travelers and traders trudge through the dangerous wilds to seek their fortunes. Here, from the central jungle floor rises five tower-like mountains that reach for the heavens, where upon their rocky exterior, numerous streets and urban districts have been carved into them to form a singular city connected by bridge and cable. These spires glow with the thousands of lights and lanterns that mark the Odiran Wild's capital city of Drusar, home to the Chande Quorum that oversees and controls the larger populace of the region. The spiraling streets bustle with life and chatter beneath the cloud-dappled blue sky, where the innumerable birds fly among the Simurgh riders that keep watch. Here, in Drusar, is where our story begins. I would like Laura and Marisha to remain at the table while the rest of you exit, if you don't mind. <laughs> 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 Go, 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 Oh, my skin is instantly clammy. Sure. Okay. Have fun. I love you. Don't die. I love you. Okay, okay. What if we die before you get here? Okay, bye. You glance at each other as you head and climb towards the airy spire. To that point, Laura, if you'd like to describe your character. Oh, gosh. Well, all right. Um. Oh gosh, okay. Um, uh, a, a young lady uh, with long, uh, light purple hair, uh, a yellow scarf around my neck. Um, I look a little bit uh, maybe shy, like I'm trying to hide myself from other people. Um, a light blue dress. Um, just keeping myself tucked back a little bit. Um, and a uh, Looking mildly uncomfortable as we rattle along. I'm gonna just kinda hold on to your arm, Laudna, if that's all right. You feeling okay, little sick? I just, you know, I never get used to these things. <laughs> Human, correct? 
I am a human. Yes. Now, Marisha, if you would like to describe yourself. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, goodness. Don't fuck this up. You see a also youngish looking woman, not as young as Imogen over here. Long, scraggly, dark hair with a shock of white going through the top of her bangs. She has a pulled back into a half up bun with a rock chisel holding it up. Her skin is pale and her eyes are big, a little bulbous with dilated pupils, almost doll like. Her lips are dark and she's wearing tattered, scraggly clothes, a black skirt and a blood maroon blouse. You can see she's very thin, gaunt, and around her belt, with some tools and odds and ends, is a dead rat with a bird skull. I made of myself. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's at this point, Lana, you notice there's a pair of dwarven children that are kind of off the side of this small alley that are just kind of staring right at you. They both kind of get spooked and kind of retract, but it's not completely out of the way. <laughs> what do you see? It's two kids. A little spooked, it seems. Where did they go? Are they still looking? They're still looking. They just they feel like they, they hid, but they're still kind of peeking around the side of the corner. I'm curious, hang on. I'm just gonna go over. They both Hello. kind of immediately go and like try and hide further down the alley and right around the very, very back where you see where those boxes are, both children just kind of. Oh. Are we playing hide and seek? They both look terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I jump out, I found ah, They both scream and run past you. One runs through your legs, they both oh, scatter wait, out no, into the street. I'm friendly. You know, I don't, I don't think it goes over quite as well as you think it does, Fuck, you know? I just, I love kids though. Lana. Do they love? Lana, no, they, they don't. Fuck. They're like, you know, fun, scary, like. Fun, scary. Yeah. Okay, I am fun, scary. Lana, you're scary, scary. I'm scary, scary. Yeah. Oh my God. But in a good way. Thank you. Yeah. As you both begin to wander off to find one of the larger marketplaces here on the Core Spire, I would like to ask Sam and Tal to the table, please. Ah! <laughs> I'm ready. I'm so oh ready. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh boy. Hi. Hi. Ashley. <laughs> Your eyes flutter open. The air, familiar if familiarly stale, you slightly feel the hint of a hangover, but as you kind of rub your eyes and sit up, you are on your standard sleeping cot here in the Crook House, surrounded by the what would be considered destitute interior by anyone of means, but to you, it's colorful and it's fun, but here in the Crook House, it's home. You're not sure what time it is. It could be four in the morning, it could be four in the afternoon. No light makes its way down here. It's kind of the, the odd nature of being here in the Fonsi Hollow in the center of the core spire. This empty cylindrical space that resides in the central area of the core spire where many of the folk go to disappear. If you like to describe yourself, Ashton. Uh, Ashton, uh, he, they, he, they are an earth genasi uh, with green stone skin and a dark purple crystal hair um, on the shorter end of things. Um, they're wearing an awful lot of leather that looks like they've been wearing it for a very, very long time with red fabric lining it. Um, they've got leather pouches, a bit of everything to keep, to keep little bits and pieces together. Some piercings made mostly of nails, uh, and very obviously a giant hole in the left side of their head uh, that has been 
filled with slag glass, and beneath the slag glass, there's a little bit of an opalescent brain that can be seen through. And one of the eyes on the cracked side is milky, like a like a, a tiger's eye gem. Uh, the cracks run most of the upper left side of the body and, and have been patched together with what looks like slag melted gold to piece everything together. Uh, they also have on the back of their very hand decorated jacket the words just don't. <laughs> um, and a big glass hammer that they carry around that very, very uh, gently just around uh, the base of it says, fuck off. <laughs> uh, so that's Ashton. As you stir for a moment and kind of sit up <clears throat> in your bearings, a familiar voice goes, so when are you going to wake up? You're being lazy. So you hear Milo from around the corner. Fuck off, what time is it? It's afternoon. Fuck. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Ah. <clears throat> to this point, you begin to take in the smell of some sort of cooking meat that's filled the room a bit. And as you push past the hanging uh, lantern to your left in what looks like a um, kind of a, a makeshift uh, and a cloth bed that dangles between two portions of the room, you can see on the workshelf to one side and the kind of metal iron uh, skillet placed upon a, a little heated device that Milo has created, you see Milo. See, he's a, a non-binary human, kind of early 20s. Uh, he's like funny beige skin, large glasses, and a knitted cap. And they're in the process of cooking up some food and said, as soon as you're ready, there'll be food. It's almost done. Oh, that's fucking brilliant. Ah. Uh. Shit. Uh, Scrapes it off onto a piece of sheet metal, kind of puts a couple small bolts off and kind of places them back in a shelf that they keep. Uh, Could have used that, but that's okay. Have you seen uh, fresh cut grass around? <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> hey! Letters! Letters. <laughs> uh, as you are just kind of milling about, taking in the space, in, impatient for anything to happen, but not quite ready to do anything on your own, um, you hear uh, Milo shout out and the, the rousing sounds of uh, Ashen around the corner. If you would like to describe yourself. Sure. <laughs> Wheeling into the room uh, is an, a, a short automaton with yellow metallic skin, uh, a cute little backpack. Um, uh, he's got, uh, he, they, uh, has, uh, two big blue eyes of different shapes. Uh, he's got a, a wheel that he rolls around on, um, on his chest plate are, uh, are four stripes that sort of look like blades of grass, uh, down, down his chest plate. And, uh, yeah, he's a, uh, he's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as he, as he wheels into the room, uh, well, uh, well, smiley day there, uh, Ashton. <laughs> how you doing? I've been. How, how was your stasis? Uh, I've been sort of waiting here on standby, waiting for your for your designation. Um, are you are you almost uh, the almost sta- ready to go? The stasis was short. Uh, protein is incoming. Protein is incoming. Right. Oh my God. Protein is ready. Fuck. As they hand it over to you. Short. I mean, you had to be out for at least eleven hours. Like, is mm. that is that all? Do you, do you need more than oh, that? Oh, I could have done with fourteen, fifteen easily. Wow. wow. Are you hungry as well? Oh, uh, I, I had some bolts already. I'm I'm uh, good to go. Thank oh. you though, Milo, and thank you for patching up uh, patching up my whole my whole thing over here. Oh, I appreciate tr- it. Trust me, my honor. As a as a person who dabbles in. Uh, you know, automation on a lower arcane level, it's its not every day you get the option to work with something quite as uh, deep as you, I'd say. Well, I'm i am very pleased that uh, working on me gave you value. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna get back to my, my work. What do you want from me? 
They're very friendly. I don't know how to turn it off and stop that part. But, I hate it. Um, I keep being told it's going to grow on me. Hi. <laughs> Taking care of their business throughout the surrounding bustling thoroughfare. Somebody dumps a piss bucket out the side of their door and just coats you. Ah. Uh, Sorry. So Fuck off! Sorry, I was in your way. Sorry. I apologize. Man, we gotta work on that. Fucker! <laughs> oh. Meanwhile. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. If I could please have oh. Oh. Liam, Ashley, and Robbie come to the table. Oh, oh shit! Travis changed his name to Robbie! Oh, shit! <laughs> hey! hey. hey. <laughs> Who is this now? <laughs> now you lied. This isn't your basement. <laughs> <laughs> basement, schmitz. It all worked basement. out fine. <clears throat> Keyleth, transitioned you via tree to Amon to bypass the challenging mess you had left behind. And what on earth do you mean? <laughs> this is lovely. They're so pointy. Are they pointy? Uh, one of them is. One of them is so pointy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind describing a fern? Yes. Um, fern is about a, a six foot tall fawn. Um, very, very long seafoam green hair. And. Um, is just covered in all bits and baubles and, and lots of flowers and toadstools and moss on her hooves. And she has a little friend, Mister, and he's a little monkey. That's all. <laughs> Are you drunk right now? Or is this Always. It? Okay. <laughs> Orem, if you wouldn't mind Liam describing yourself. Sure. Uh, Orem is a halfling. He's three foot and change, a uh, shock of short brown hair, and he's wearing um, a little bit of brown leather armor, mostly a breastplate, and um, these leather boots that have round um, green stone rings that are laced into the shin guard of each one. He has a short sword sheathed uh, on his back, an ivy adorned shield on one hand, and um, the armor and and the, the very well worn sashes that are tied around his waist and hanging down have um, woven patterns of ivy and flower on them, and they're beautiful, but they're they're not fancy. They're just well made and and well worn. And um, he has a full sleeve tattoo going up his arm that is all clouds from the wrist all the way up onto his shoulder and then disappearing under his armor onto his chest. And the two moons of Exandria are right here. Uh, Katha is a white crescent and Ruidus is a smaller full moon cradled uh, within. Uh, and he is a uh, very fine features, his, uh, he's really ropey muscles and slender, like a dancer. Okay. If you wouldn't mind describing Dorian. Sure, um, <laughs> uh, Dorian is, um, for all intents and purposes, a normal bard. He's just in traveler's clothes. Um, but if you were to first glance at him, what you would notice is um, how uncharacteristically clean he is. <laughs> Uh, uh, no mud on his boots. He has a, a large uh, winged sort of armor plate that you can't really tell if it's ornamental or or functional, and there's not a fingerprint on it. It's perfectly shined. And uh, he's wearing a long cape that uh, has sort of a sunburst ombre that goes down the back. Uh, he's an air genasi, so he sort of moves with the lightness, and you might first mistake it for confidence, but it just seems like it's part of who he is, and not so much what he wants to project. And um, 
He has uh, long black hair that goes down into a white ombre, and he's got sort of a top knot man bun here. Mm -hmm. Also very pristine. Um, and um, yeah, as he sort of looks out over things, he he feels comfortable in the sky, but this is a wild experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's enjoying it a lot. I really like your earring. Oh, thank you very much. I reach out and I just touch it. <laughs> he does like a, a flinch, but he allows it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a symbol of the all hammer. One more time. It's a symbol of the all hammer. The all hammer. <laughs> Great deity of skilled crafting. Oh. How interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the brief glimpse of a smile that had curled to his lips begins to fade and just kind of starts fiddling with it again and turns back to the door as it opens and then just steps out and immediately kind of... As he starts to step out, I'm going to try to swipe it. I'm going to try to nice. take it off his ear, grab it, because I, I like it a lot. Make a sleight of hand check. Oh. <laughs> Been here five minutes. <laughs> She's the one we're supposed to be looking out for. Oh, okay, that's a natural 19. Uh oh. 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 Yeah. Plus two, so... Oh, wow. Exits briskly, making a for such a, a large, you know, uh, beastly-looking entity, uh, the steps are quite gentle and quick. As he exits, a moment later, you can see Fern in her hand clutching this huh. gathered chain of gold and silver with a particular symbol on it that looks almost like a, a, a metallic hammer with faces uh, lightly carved on the edges of it. Fern. Mm -hmm. We talked about this. What? I, I know that it works most of the time, but that is going to get us in trouble. I told you a story about someone picking my pocket <laughs> 30 seconds ago, and then you pick someone's pocket? That was a I priest. Just, I said, don't get on my ass about it. <laughs> all I was, you, t all I know is that it's pretty easy to do here. That's all I took from what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. It's beautiful. And it's for the god of, of arts and crafts. <laughs> I think that's what he said. Just close. Enough. Skills. Put it away, put it away in case he comes back, please. Okay. Oh. Gosh, take it easy. As a note, this is about two and a half feet long. It's <laughs> <laughs> much smaller on the ear of its previous uh, carrier. On you, it it like drags your ear a bit, but it looks cool. <laughs> but your destination, as the sun in the sky begins to slowly make its way towards the horizon, the sunset imminent, the oranges and purples beginning to take the blues, it have been familiar up until now. <laughs> At this point in time, you can see now people are beginning to scatter. Um, another figure seems to be charging out from inside of the uh, the inn that you both have been coming from, shouting out into the fray. Travis, if you would mind. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Let Hot. us go. So, how do you enter, and if you wouldn't mind describing yourself? Uh, uh, yes, for the good of Drassar, <laughs> I will enter the fray with you. And you see a uh, 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 gentleman in his late 70s, or early 80s, um, with beautiful silver trimmed facial hair, a good receding hairline going, and and a nice ponytail pulled tight oh. in the back. Mm. Is it cool, nice, Grandpa? Nice purple refinery, <laughs> a, nice, a nice quaffed collar and a, some burnt orange underneath. And he has a, a very elegant looking walking stick uh, in his hand, as, as well as a very beautiful looking rapier on the other hand. It's because he's dignified, because right. he needs the stick. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna answer my question. I'm, I'm so sorry. Did you, like who bestowed it on oh. you? I don't know if you would, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is what even the fuck? Oh no! 
I mean, we knew that already. <laughs> Jeez. That Have is you had that so over there? That is so cool. I, I, I really, really like cool. it. Oh, Where did you even? How? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? It's just getting a sip, guys. <laughs> it's really it's cute. cute. It's just a simple home game. It actually is very cool. <laughs> <laughs> what does it, it looks feel like, like it's saying out of Borderlands uh, or something. Yeah. It's cool. What's, what do you have on the front? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was oh a God. brand new, clean <clears throat> container when <clears throat> you started and you just gussied up the outside, what right? Is that? Oh, man. That's right. You're okay. drinking yeah. out of it? Oh, yeah. That's really cool. Did you get that at the Warner lot? What is that? <laughs> uh, uh, hi, I'm Fresh Cut Grass. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm Fresh Cut Grass. That's your name? That's what I'm called, yeah. Oh. Like your first name, or is grass your middle name? Or your or, last name? Or cut grass. Yeah, I, I I'm just called Fresh Cut Grass. I don't, um, I don't really distinguish between a, a surname or anything like that. Did you give yourself your name or? No, no. Um, my former associate gave me my name. Um, she named all of her, uh, all of her creations after her favorite uh, smells. Oh, that's lovely. There was a bunch of us. Uh, there was, there was me. There was oatmeal. Uh, there was apple pie. There was pussy. Um, there was a oh. bunch of a bunch of us. Wow. It's so nice to see other people having to hear this. It's really just bringing everything into sharp perspective. This has been a day. <laughs> that took me a bit by surprise. This has been a day. <laughs> Uh, you, you, uh, what was, what was your name? <laughs> wow, it was just thrown out there so quick. Um, Did you say so to help? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Fern. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, it's so fun. I've, I've heard of creatures like you. Oh, you have? Have, have you yeah. ever met I, uh, another, uh, you know, automaton such as myself? <laughs> and uh, a half orc who's in the process of like gargling a drink, and they both look, all of them look over at you, set up, and go, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I will sit down and I will pull my lyre out and tune it, and wing, 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 wing. not quite right. <laughs> and it tunes for a little bit too long. And then he looks over at the half orc and goes, What's your favorite song? Uh, Jordan, fetch my whiskey. Don't know it, and I just start playing. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> going? Make a performance check. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh my god! Is it a one? Tell me. Uh, that. that would be a one. Yes. Uh, yeah. Plus plus, set, plus yeah. seven. Plus. But yeah. Well, yeah natural yeah. one. That's uh, natural one. <laughs> You get that grin on your face, oh, and people are starting to lean over in anticipation for like, this guy's got some bravado, like got some confidence, and there is an air about you of like, you don't know what you're in for. <laughs> Ping! <laughs> String breaks. First strum in. Immediately. <laughs> Laughter starts picking up around the space. I'll immediately sink into myself, <laughs> put my liar back, <laughs> quietly pick up my things, accidentally drop one of them, pick it up again, <laughs> and walk back over to Fern. <laughs> <gasps> Not my best. Are you Dorian Storm? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> You are incredible! <sighs> wow, can you play us a, another song? The Great Dorian Storm, feared by all twingy things! <laughs> oh, he's amazing, you have no idea. Destroyer of silence is what I had. All right, I'm gonna, fuck! I'm gonna unclip the handle of my axe, which is also my flute. Oh, oh. shit! And I am gonna try one more time. To this play. is my favorite instrument that he plays, actually. Please, 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 please. Make another performance check. It is a higher DC because it's not turned into a tough crowd. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a six plus seven. Oh. Thirteen. Thirteen, thirteen, okay. Everyone's waiting for this to be a disaster, but it's actually, like, decent. To the point where people aren't cheering, 
but they've lost interest in focusing on the music and just are letting it be background now. They've gone back to their business. You do see like one. <laughs> it's one of these flutes, not one of these. I gotta be clarified, one of these. <laughs> you see from, from the back room a, uh, um, uh, a kind of young, a younger dwarf uh, woman um, walks up. She has like a like a, a leather vest over a like elbow cut sleeve. Her hair is slicked back and short, and she has what looks to be some sort of like a like a like a, a gem that is embedded in her cheek. And you see over one shoulder she has herself a liar. And she walks up and tosses a gold and goes, It's a tough crowd, honey. But you're doing the work. Hoot. Thank you. Hoot. And she exits. Hoot. Hoot. That's a lot of questions. Oh. Well, there's a little more. It's rude to ask about dead people. Hi, they when you're using their body parts, I think so. Wow. Don't tell Pate. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Wait, what? He doesn't matter. He doesn't matter. Pate is my Who's... dead rat. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Yes. Yes. This, is, what? this is an amazing uh, what? Uh, detail that we hadn't. We just passed right over. What show is this? You have a where, dead rat? Where are you yes. going? This is Pate. <laughs> Pate de Rolo, specifically. Pate yeah. de Rolo? Yes. Can we. Can I hold Would you? Would you like right? to meet him? Yes. <gasps> Pate! And about this time you see like rubber bands snap from each of Laudna's tips that go to his head and each of his four limbs. Uh, and they kind of look like rubbery black sinew. Uh, and she lifts him up and kind of starts puppeting him. Oh, hello, I'm Pate Gerolo. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Look at you. Well, hello, can I, can I shake its oh, little paw? Oh, hello, just, oh. oh. Oh, oh, I've never I met never someone like you. I never, Ashton, I never wanted this? to end. This is amazing. Two oh, years. You never hit these two. How often does it happen? I so, love you. Say hello there. to the big. Um, How did you attach the skull oh, bit? That's amazing. Oh yes, do you like that? It's, uh, really it's a raven like skull. It just died in my house one day. It ran into the wall, and so I just thought I would. I you can know, barely see your thing. lips moving. It's amazing. Oh, I've had lots of practice. <laughs> what a work of art! My well, thank you. Oh, thank you. Pretty fine looking myself. Oh, oh. Pate. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. You're so silly. I'm sorry. Did you name the dead rat after the Dorolo family? Oh. You're familiar with the Dorolos? Only a little. Yes. I mean. Well, they only like, there was a lot of P names, you know, and like, I don't know, just, it just seems fancy, so. I think there's a bit of a celebration to commence with this relationship. And for the first, ever since the, this hard, rigid uh, orc has met you in within the, these chambers, there's a smile that crawls across his lips. This is kind of a, a softness you weren't expecting. He stands up. And everyone's like, oh, I can't. Look, this is my thing. <laughs> <laughs> and he turns around Gross. and comes back with, you see in his hands, this, this massive brown structure, this kind of rounded structure, and sits on the table. <laughs> After a long hiatus, I felt compelled to make a cake. So let us celebrate our partnership over a cake. And takes a little <laughs> knife and begins cutting slices out of it. This is amazing. A cake? Did you bake it yourself? I oh. did, and I apologize if it's a bit more five. Not had a reason to make cake in some time. What kind of cake is it? Takes a slice. This is carrot. I hope you like carrot. I love it. It looks. It just looks brown. <laughs> but against passing pieces across the table, and Evelyn begins helping pass them out. And just kind of, you see, there's like there's a sense of pride on his face as he passes That's my them. My favorite. I'm more familiar with pie, but this looks wonderful. <laughs> it's like a heartier pie if you want to think of it that way. But thank you. I'm gonna go get some breakfast sandwiches for. For, let's see. Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, six breakfast sandwiches. Seven. Okay. No, no. Bertram can buy his own. Nice. 
I will mash it around in my jaw area. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get any nutrition or any flavor from it? Break a metal cog. Even if you weren't an automaton, no. Wow. That's not true. They were very tasty. Yeah. 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 You just yeah. burned the Werther's Bridge. <laughs> Should we have like fine. a feud against the Werther's Bridge? <laughs> no. <laughs> The best thing that ever happened. Everyone so. loves feuds. <laughs> we already pissed off Tootsie Pop Owl guy. Next up is Werther's. One by one, we're plinking them off. Somewhere there's a, a fellow with a straw hat going. <laughs> Dorian, your breakfast sandwich is gone. What happened to it? Did I eat it? No, you took a bite. <laughs> Right now, in a really big way. Like you took a bite, and listening to this conversation, you realize it's gone. Oh, what happened to it? You look down on the ground. There's Mister sitting there with crumbs in his mouth. Just like, (gasps) Mister. Do you know if he actually even gets anything out of that? Doesn't it just sort of burn up? (laughs) Just oh, ash and smoke come pouring out the side of the mouth. I mean, I give him treats all the time. That's why he's gotten so. Round. <laughs> he's just he's my little my little roly poly. Before we depart, I grab Dorian. Mm. I know you were feeling just so guilty about poor Bertrand's. Mm. And I just um here I just I wanted you to have <sighs> this. And it's um, a Bertrand doll made <laughs> with I knew it. chicken oh, bones. Shit. And I, t- I took that the hair dark. that I cut off of Bertrand <gasps> to make his actual oh. hair. Oh, no. And True Detective, season five. And he's got a little oh cane. God. Maybe he'll, he'll remind him of you oh, when you get sad. Oh, 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 he is lovely. You are so talented. Oh, stop! Stop! I will. Tr- I will treasure Tiny Bertrand forever. As you as you look at it, the thing that affixes like the head to it, like something gives, and the head just goes like <laughs> on its own. Does it come with little? Puppeteer, little. Oh, well, that is. Oh. I could give you some strings. That's okay. Like, oh, no, I'd rather just look at it. I'd rather just look at it. <laughs> so, oh, it's so gorgeous. Okay. Let me know. I could teach you some puppeteering. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Okay. And I'm gonna try to put these greasy chicken bones like in my bag or something. <laughs> what is your act? I'm interested. Is anyone else interested? Or is it oh, just? Of course, but we don't want to put. I've, we I've don't. It. You know, if maybe you could just have a private. Oh, oh, you, uh, you don't want to put them on the spot, but you want to put me on the well, spot. Well, you're a fa- fantastic performer, of international renown. Now, are you are you one of them like rich boy prepared music types? A lot of rehearsal. Or are you more of like an improviser? Oh, I can do it all. Jam session. Jam session. <gasps> is a jam session about to happen? We can't jam. Under- I've oh seen. Oh my <laughs> god. I've seen it. I got jam. <laughs> Goes and starts making a little sandwich. It's on my shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, see if you can follow. Pulls oh, out oh, this oh, this oh, oh, kind of oh, nice fiddle that she had kind of hidden uh, underneath. Uh, it kind of. Are you gonna guidance him? Or yeah, gonna... yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast enhance ability. Yay! All right, all right. I, this isn't about me. You, you don't want two strings. Oh, this is entirely about you, honey. I'm sorry. You walk in here looking like that, saying that you're a well-traveled musician. I can't lose an opportunity to take you down several pegs. Oh, you shit. <laughs> and I'm going to pick my loot back out. And it's, we, is this is the devil went down to Georgia scenario yes, right now? Yeah, it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'm going to go over to, to Dorian and just sort of say, well, no matter what happens, just keep it positive and, and remember, you don't, just don't rush the beat, all right? Okay. <laughs> and I'll and I'll cast enhance ability, uh, uh, eagle splendor. Uh, so you have advantage on all performance checks. Oh. All right. How does that look as you cast it upon him? Oh boy, <laughs> I've never <laughs> cast this spell before. I, don't I know that's know what why I'm to do first time spell is um, that standard. Sure. Uh, I'm going to my my. Uh, I'll just have you look straight into my eyes, and, mm-hmm. and my eyes will just sort of glow blue mm-hmm. and uh, and shine a light into yours, uh, sort of lighting yours up blue for a second. 
That feels nice. <laughs> and I will start to lay down the rhythm section of a funky little rural <laughs> beat. <laughs> all right, all right. Rural right as he starts beat. to play, I'm gonna oh, press a digitation and like, little lights are gonna sparkle up around his head and it's gonna look like in lights it says Dorian Stone. <laughs> <laughs> if you could, if you could audibly hear an eye roll out of Annie <laughs> as the head goes to. <laughs> is the company you keep? Sure. And, you, and but as, as she's saying that to you, you can see her, the back of her heel is starting to pick up on the beat, just kind of instinctually as she starts rolling into a bit. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, come here. There's something in your hair. Oh, thank you. And as he bends down, a uh, blue flower blooms out of Orem's hand <laughs> and is now tucked into uh, Dorian's hair. Yes. Everything. So everything. All of it. Had to kick the battle music in, because here we are. Brushed. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> and with that, as soon as you start laying down the beat, Annie starts hitting the fiddle and it's kind of low string and pick up, pick up, kind of matching your beat, but also like kind of taking what you're laying down and beginning to guide it and almost trying to overpower it a bit. Make a performance check. Come on, come on. With advantage, with advantage, with advantage. With advantage. With advantage. Ah, uh, that'd be natural 20. Oh, shit! Plus, see what? if you can get plus, two. See if you can get two of them. Plus, in case. Plus, plus two what? Natures, uh, plus, plus, plus your performance. Oh, plus my performance 27. Yeah, oh. see, you know, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to see you get two natural 20s. Why is that? that would never oh, happen. Oh, oh my God! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. As like Annie the most leans <laughs> in with a fairly fierce performance, how do you respond? Oh, I could, I could stop the rhythm section and just bust out a killer shredding solo, but I don't. <laughs> I don't. Not time. I ease back and I set up a solo for her. For her. Ooh. Ooh. Now, Annie was feeling confident as soon as you set up the solo. In that moment, you see the look in her eyes of panic as she wasn't expecting to be gone. She was pushing into you to try and get you off of your game, and you immediately reversed it on her. And in that brief moment, you can see there's a gap in her part. And for for a few beats, the bow of her fiddle doesn't move. And then she kind of shakes and tries to catch up, and you threw her off tremendously on that bit. Uh, let's go ahead and do another performance roll. <gasps> Uh, 22. 22, nice. okay. At this point, uh, as Annie picks up and is now like kind of finding herself back in the beat, caught up, now she pushes forward into the solo, and with that, even though you're trying to meet her there, she even just physical body language, she kind of almost begins to stand a bit from that sitting position where she was eating. She's now up and is beginning to kind of domineer you just from a stature. Even though she's effectively shorter than you from standing height, right now there is a, a force of intention there. And while you both are fairly evenly matched, she's beginning to crest beyond, she rolled pretty well, and is like just starting to push over that and her solo's starting to pick, and the rest of you are like, damn, this girl's got some skills. Yep. Yep. This girl's got some skills. Damn. 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 God damn it. <laughs> Let's go, this is the final roll. Okay, okay. 25. Okay. okay. It both, as soon as her solo finishes, she immediately responds and throws a solo to you, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. hoping to catch you off guard. Are you off guard? No. No, feels right. It's a great solo on her part. <laughs> so I just answer right back, jump out of the rhythm section, and blast out a little uh, high pitched uh, solo on a loop. Can you do that? I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> even if you couldn't, you're pulling it off. Uh, uh, sweet, he's, let's go. He's doing it, Peter. Yeah. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Uh, and as, as you begin to carry it forward, you can see Annie starting to look uh, anxious and nervous, looks back at you, continues to fiddle faster and faster, and is meeting that point before. Bing! Oh. Natural one on her part. Oh. <laughs> And she goes, fuck, shit, and just like stands up and storms off. Oh, God, no. yeah, yeah. 
<sighs> all right, you're good. It's good. He's good. Right. And Not better than me. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you okay? Could you tell us? Are you okay? Oh, are okay? no. Are you okay, Annie? No. Now, <laughs> Annie Storm's out. <laughs> <laughs> Slams the door behind. <laughs> At the edge of the end of the alleyway. Oh. Like a, a figure kind of leaning against the wall. Does it, does it look familiar to Aura and I? Make a perception check, both of you guys. 25. 17. 17. You both glance past and though it is mostly uh, in shadow with just a little bit of rim lighting from the moon that is coming through from the main street, uh, no, this is not the figure you saw. This is a humanoid figure, but much smaller. Maybe about Aura size, even shorter. You see a faint hunch to it as it just kind of sits there, arms crossed, waiting. I don't trust it. Can I send out a, a message to it? Ooh, is that stupid? If you'd stupid? like to, you can see it. Do you need something? Travis, you want to come to the table? Oh! <laughs> 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 and he was trolling us on text all night! Oh my god, he finally stopped texting us, jeez. <laughs> Where'd he go? What? No more screen grab. If you'd like to ask the question once more to the target of your message. I don't even remember what I said. Do you want do you something? Want something? Need something, want something. Do you, do you, need something? you want something? Who? Who is that? Oh no. Who's uh, speaking, please? <laughs> It's, oh no. No, no. Uh, and I just wave over here. How are you doing that? <laughs> the same way you're doing it to me. Mind powers. That's nifty. No, but do you, are you gonna, uh, I just walk over to him. <laughs> Uh, Imogen? Who's that? Do you know that? Uh, that's the little guy. Uh, I'd, I'd like a uh, power walk next to Imogen. If you, if you would like to describe yourself, transfer size. Uh, yeah, you see post up against the wall, uh, cloak and hood pulled over uh, his head. You see <laughs> tufts of silvery gray hair shooting out over his ears. Some silvery gray hair shooting out of his ears. <laughs> and a nice little Knit beanie cap, pulled tight with little ear straps. Uh, he's got a leather chest harness and uh, some pretty muscly, sinewed arms along with some, looks to be woodworking tools <laughs> from his hips and waist uh, and and some nicely uh, pointy-toed boots. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, what's his lineage? Uh, he's, a, he's a gnome. Roughly, he's a gnome. Roughly what age is he, from a visual perspective? Oh, Probably somewhere around 100, 120, 100 and something years old. <laughs> what kind of height are we talking about? I'm short, motherfucker. Shorter than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 3'3". Three, three. Where you at? I think I got you by an inch or so. Oh. I'm looking down. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're taller, you're taller, you're taller, than taller? Than oh. I think so. I can't, I'm not sure. Okay. You're not sure? I might be on my tippy toes. <laughs> 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 Gotta put out a different vibe for these strangers. That's where it lifts. <laughs> like just shoes with with like a quarter up against the wall, so the heels. Like I just lift them up and then rest them against the back, <laughs> so my calves don't. Yeah. Sick. What? Who are you? Who are you? Are you one of the contractors? I see you have woodworking tools. No, I, I am. I, I like working with wood very much. No, I am. Um, I saw around the corner all of you handle whatever that was. You decided to just stand there and not come help? Well, fuck yes! The thing had tendrils, and all of a sudden you were there, and you whack got pulled in, and you got spit back out, and then he's fucking face down in the middle of the street. Fair. Fair. <clears throat> um. Do you do this regularly? Are you looking for work? No, I'm just kidding. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know a patron? <laughs> no, actually, I, I could use some 
help. Um, oh, you need something. Well, yes. Um, I need help finding someone. What's your name, friend? Yeah, my name is Chetney. <laughs> I'm sorry, say that again. It sounded like you said ch... Chet. Chetney. Chetney. Pockapee is my name. Pockapee. Come and go. So many ports and so many towns and stuff. Perhaps we should uh, introduce ourselves. <laughs> why are you so? Why are you so mean to me? We are new friends. <laughs> <laughs> Can we can we just tell Chet me our names, please? Yeah. So this is no, this is getting so strange. We know all about his love life, but he doesn't know what name. You should tell him. That's sometimes yeah. how it goes, though. Mm. Uh, My name is Dorian. Oh, we're gonna start with you. Yeah. <laughs> you go first, huh? I was the one who was talking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chetney. I'm so sorry. The apology accepted. Thank you. Let's start with the ladies, maybe. I don't know. Chivalry dead? Nope. You are correct, Chutney. <laughs> Lana, what's your story? You remembered my name. Well, I've only heard two so far! (laughs) (laughs) Nothing. (laughs) Well, my, you know, um, I'll get to my story. Let's just uh, complete the, um. Oh, I get it. I spill my guts. Nothing from you. I'll give and no take. Just give him the book jacket version. Oh, um, all right. Uh, I was alive, but then I was dead, and now I'm alive again. I'm originally from Whitestone, and this is Pate, my pet rat. Oh, hello, I'm Jenny. Hello. Good to meet you, Jenny. Hello, Pate. <laughs> See, they made friends. Oh. Do you like him? Do you yeah. like him, Pate? <laughs> I do. I truly do. He likes you. The feeling's mutual. <laughs> See, that's that's Alive story. and dead, that explains a lot. <laughs> with the details. Could you make a little girlfriend for Pate? Yes. I'm quite horny, you see. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'll be sure to take that into account with the design. Did you do that, Pate? We'll make sure, you know, it's girlfriend <laughs> material. Oh. Anatomically oh. correct. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I've seen a puppet show like that before. Oh. So, you ran away from a family of generations of oracles, is what you're saying. Hmm. Yeah. It's amazing that they didn't see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And right at this moment, as this is happening, the goblin comes rushing out. <laughs> Who wants to see me? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, me. <laughs> and you get just bounding over. People are like scooting out of the way. One of the tables, you pull back, it's like off the wood across the way. Just big smile on the face. You can see just kind of the 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 the, the lower like underbite of the ogre peering beneath this giant grin. Uh, the kind of the grease and sweat across the face, and that the one long hat just kind of like dangling and swaying to and fro as it bounds over towards you. Uh, at that moment, kind of Preo glances over, and then just kind of everyone kind of focuses. You roll natural twenty, it focuses back on you. Is it okay? I have to tell you, this is one of the best meals that I've ever had. <laughs> it. <laughs> you see, just like tears begin to roll up in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, <laughs> what's your name? My name. <laughs> Pretty. 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 Pretty or Brady? Pretty. 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 Oh, so pretty. What's going on? 
Okay. I just, I <laughs> have to ask you, what are the ingredients that you use? Is there cinnamon in this? Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought so. <laughs> what else? What else? I have to, this is an old family recipe, isn't it? Sure. <laughs> Tell me everything that's in it, please. Well, okay. first I cook a lot of meat fat. Okay. Then I mix it with the oil. Oh, great. You know what? Hold on. I gotta write this down. Oh, it's a secret recipe. Oh, that's, that is, that's true. You that's, shouldn't take all the secrets. I'm kidding, okay, okay. Right I don't have to. <laughs> 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 Tissue. Yeah. <laughs> here, have some plum. Here. Have some plum. Have some of our li liqueur. Oh, he's gonna get sloppy. It's yeah. very sweet. It's really no, good. No. Oh. So, I need to start <laughs> going start on about ready. this. Anyway, I'm sorry. I gotta get back to work. It's just that, that, that it's been such a pleasure to spend time with you. It really, truly has. You too. Thank you Look, very much. Yes. I may be called pretty. But you are. Oh, pretty. You just have, your heart is as big as you are. It's very swollen. I, I just can tell. Yeah. <laughs> He's just Have we seen our friends come out of the kitchen yet? Not yet. The rest oh. of you step out of the room, and at that point you hear the heavy footfalls approaching the kitchen of the cook. Do something. Yeah. What are you doing later? Oh no. Working and then sleeping. What time do you get off? Looks <laughs> <Just> back. Looks <laughs> back over at his boss. He's like. Uh. Two hours after sundown. Two hours after, two hours after sundown. Pretty. Do you want to go on a date? <laughs> With you? Anybody at this table? What? I oh, mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. whoever you want to go. I don't know. We could, we could, we could, we could all go. It could be it on, like it a be full, a like a group hang. I just, it's a, you know, the three of us are sitting at the table still, right? It's yeah. the three of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's back and gives a big old thumbs up to his boss at the, at the tavern front. Preo and goes, "We like the meal." <laughs> I mean, go get it, buddy. <laughs> he gives you like a sure. We'll meet you out front. It's a date. Have they come out yet? They're now. Oh. Yeah. Do you ever think about death? Oh, uh, my death or in like a, a, the grand scheme of things? Just in general. Well, I think everyone does sometimes. Because Laden is fucking terrifying. Oh, I don't know. You sort of get used to it after a while. Really? Well, it becomes like a, you ever have a friend that tells the same bad joke over and over again? Oh, a friend. Oh, <laughs> uh, a friend, you have a friend, right? Like a group of friends? Uh... I do now. Oh, yes you do, <laughs> yes you do. Uh, 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 well, um, yes, yes, everyone thinks about death, I think, Chetney. Oh, okay. Yeah, why, why do you, do you think about death? No, Laden is just fucking terrifying. That was it, that was <laughs> And if that's what death looks like, I don't know, I've got a whole other, you know, I, I don't perspective. think that's, I think that's, I don't think that's normal. Are you sure? Well, uh, no, no one's sure what happens after we die, Chetney. Mm. Yeah. Nice night. It is a nice night, Chetney. Do we talk about anything else? No. Friend. <laughs> I'm gonna reach down, 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 and put my hand on his, his shoulder as we stroll. Give him a little... My tiny, tiny little hand. <laughs> <laughs> Continue to stroll. And All right. <laughs> it's fucking cute. 
<laughs> Sounds so romantic. It really does. Yes. What was his name? Sam. Samuel. A stupid name. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, that sounds great. <laughs> um, Some food and the sounds of laughter and a few odd turns as you enter. Uh, there you see, at one of the tables, right in the center of the room, sitting down, is Pretty. No one sitting at the table around. He has the tiniest of bow ties that is like tied around his, his wide ogre neck. It looks to be extended with multiple ribbons to make it all the way around that don't match the coloration of kind of the pale blue. Um, and on the table, you see three small boxes. And as you enter, it looks up. Hi. Hello, pretty. Told you! <laughs> and you see around the room, about seven or eight other figures go. And they pull out coin, <laughs> set it on the table. And he's like, <laughs> Hi. Hello, pretty. You actually came. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Smiles with this big toothy grin. Um. He pushes the boxes forward. They kind of skim them, kind of topples forward a little bit. They're a little, you know, damp. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's hard to buy presents when I don't know much about you, but um, here. Thank you, pretty. I did not have to do that. I know. <laughs> Should we open them now? Okay. Okay. Um. Two of you roll a d6 for me, please. Rollies. Rollies. <laughs> Six. Five. Okay. So, you open yours, mm -hmm. and the first thing you see is what looks to be like an incredible, almost like fractal spiral of tiny little points that spiral within themselves. And you're like, this is an incredible craft of whatever it is. And you reach down and touch it, and it's a little give to it. And you pull it out and realize, oh, it's it's a it's a cauliflower. It's a very beautiful spiral cauliflower. Oh, it's lovely. This is so wonderful. Pretty? It, well, it wasn't a lot of notice, so I just looked what I could find. Oh, I open, love it. You open yours, and you find probably the most perfect artichoke you've ever seen. Well kept, well washed, still a little damp in some places, probably wasn't dried properly, but it it looks pretty solid. Pretty. Just absolutely gorgeous. And I take it and I I know, I'm trying to figure out do we put it in our like jacket or do I put it in like maybe our oh, hair? Maybe put, oh will you put, put mine in, in my yes, like, absolutely. Oh, that's a great idea. I kind yeah. of just pin it. Thank you. And I take mine and I, I wrap it around my <gasps> wrist like a croissant. I'll tie it, I'll tie it. Thank for you. you so much. That's lovely. What did you get? You open yours and you pull out what what looks like two pumpkins stacked on each other, like small tiny pumpkins. But you realize that they're actually two pumpkins merged. One grew out of the other, and it has this kind of like double pumpkin appearance to it, an oddity in nature. Oh, this is this is this is remarkable. Where did you find this? My kitchen. <gasps> oh. Are you hungry? Um. Oh, yeah, 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 we, we, you know, we could eat. Do you want to? Did you want to eat here, or did you want to go somewhere more quiet? Is there somewhere more quiet to eat? I'm sure we could find oh, somewhere. Yeah. I'm gonna stick it on the end of one of my horns. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh. That looks very nice. Thank you. Mm. We got oh. you something as well, and I pull out the tankard filled with trash. <laughs> it's real rough, guys. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> as you set it down, like there's a, there's a moment where where even just holding together, you're like, oh, oh, honey, 
and then it <laughs> falls apart. Uh, the, the tankard, while you did mend it, uh, it looks like <laughs> the <laughs> the chicken bones have somehow. You rolled a one. I don't know how this works, but <laughs> how did the chicken bones get worse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you watch as a, a series of previously unseen. <laughs> no, no, I, I heard it in your head. Tiny, tiny maggots, kind of like <laughs> out of the bones onto the table. They're kind of moving under the linen, and he's like. Uh, okay, thank Sorry, you. No, it, it was dark outside. Yeah, we didn't real, in, in the dark it was a lot better. It's the thought that counts. I grab one of the maggots. <laughs> Protein. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this on display. And he takes the several pieces that have fallen apart and gathers them and stands up and people move out of the way as he goes over and sets it up on the mantle where the rest of the alcohol bottles are. <laughs> you see, <laughs> Hero's like, uh, uh, "Pretty, we're not gonna, we're not gonna." Uh. It looks so beautiful. Perfect location. It's your big night, buddy. We're gonna support you, but that's not gonna stay long. We'll find another place. Yay! And everyone in the room. Now you now know at this point that everyone is watching. It is just a room of eyes who are. Some that were waiting for the possible spectacle, and others that are now enraptured by it. Many with a, a look of disbelief, but you know, mildly entertained. Some people like genuinely invested in this, but you've become like a soot and swill reality show. <laughs> Comes back, <laughs> sits. We can eat here. <laughs> Charles! And the the night shift cook comes out. And you see coming around the corner this this older uh, half elven man. Uh, we're talking like Ichabod Crane from the classic Disney you know, Headless Horseman, just like this scrawny, big Adam's apple. Uh, the whole nose comes to a point uh, like mine, uh, <laughs> and it just kind of scoots through. Like ah, oh, right, right. Um. Oh, God. Uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> And comes out with what looks to be uh, four different plates, precariously balanced on his hands. Sets them onto the wheeling cart and begins to wheel them out. And he's like, "Here, or uh, is it still raining outside?" It is still raining. Shit. Is there? Do you have a, a, a table that's more private? Yeah. Stands up. As the food's being kind of wheeled behind them, the other ship is like trying to figure out where he's going. They just fall behind. <laughs> Walks over to this table in the corner with about seven ruffians who are sitting there, kind of watching him approach. As his shadow begins to barrel over them, get out! <laughs> they all stand up. <laughs> their chairs scoot back and fall back. They grab their drinks and leave. He turns around and goes, get out! And everyone stands up and grabs their stuff and finishes their drinks and grabs their food and starts collecting. And the room is suddenly, within a few moments, empty, except for the three of you, the <laughs> people who run the soot and swill, and pretty. And you. <laughs> You're just like watching it. <laughs> Six back down. Private. Oh, thank you, pretty. You're much better. Ah, uh, your, your meals for the night. Oh, thank you. They are just the standard meals they serve here. <laughs> More of the same. Did you make this or did he? I made them a while ago and he's been keeping them warm. Oh, great. Oh, I'm so thank glad you. to have this again today. <laughs> <laughs> it was delicious the first time. So pretty, how long have you been here at the tavern? <laughs> <laughs> Five years. Oh, that's a long time. What was your previous place of employment? Um. Kinda hurt people for a living. Oh! That's kind of what we do. 
We have so much in common. Oh my goodness. I like this better. Yeah. People treat me nicer. Where did you, um, where did you hit people? In the head mostly. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, no, Sometimes the sternum, or like, if I got spot. the drop first, maybe like a cold cock in the back of the head, and just <gasps> take care of things immediately. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just kill him outright? Oh, hopefully not kill them. Oh, 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 oh. Not on purpose. I'm sorry. Some people are just so fragile. Mm -hmm. Were you, did you fight for spectators or did you fight for, um, for like a reason, did you people hire you to take care? Were you like a bounty hunter? I hear there's a lot of bounty hunters around here. No, I just, um, just watch the door, mm. <laughs> point something in front and you can see, and you walk past a couple times and perched there, there is a, uh, uh, a human fella who just looks like he has some arms on his side, who's kind of just sitting and keeping a watch on the door, who's actively been kind of the, the peacekeeper of the chamber. And as he points over in that direction, he kind of looks back at the rest of you, Gives two fingers over towards pretty. But uh, I worked my way up the ladder. Um, by the way, we brought our, our, our friend Fresh Cut Grass because he's never witnessed a date. So we figured this would be the perfect time to let him see how that goes. Smiley date to you. Smiley date to you, too. I didn't make another meal. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't eat. It's fine. Just continue. I'm just a. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a bot on the wall. Just you. Just continue. All right. Would you also like something to drink? Yeah. Drink. <laughs> Watches in the back. Brio kind of grabs a bottle off the top. And, uh, is this for everyone or, or just? Anyone want anything particular? Wine or? Uh... Uh, what, are, what, what, are you, what would you like to have, pretty? Drink. <laughs> In the bottle you can see in their hands. Like, I, I, I know what he likes. Okay. And